Aquarius. Why you keep them so delirious, baby? It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpio Rays Tarot. I am back at it again, one time for the one time, to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of October 2020. Show me the money energy y'all know my birthday is on sunday october the 25th so i am excited 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 i hope that you guys have been doing well doing swell so i just want to say shout out to all my og shout out to all my newbies shout out to every last one of you guys who has clicked like shared and subscribed to any one of these videos if you would like to book a personal private reading or send any type of support or love or you know any birthday love you can check out the information and description of this video and you can book personal private readings and just connect with me in any type of way fashion or form on the about tab on my youtube page so if you guys want to book a personal private reading i do video readings only i typically do them on instagram messenger if you don't have instagram messenger i do the video chat readings on google hangouts it's a very easy app to download just um go to your app store download google hangouts and only thing we need to exchange in order to speak with each other is our email so um my email is scorpionres at gmail.com so if you do not have instagram to communicate with me on instagram in regards to scheduling your meeting just email me again at scorpionreds at gmail.com so as you know, we always give praise and we give thanks to Father God, to the creator of this whole world, this universe, everything that you see, touch, and smell here on this galaxy. We got to give him thanks and acknowledgement. So, Father God, we thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Aquarius. We thank you so much for just keeping us safe, sound, and strong, Father God. We thank you so much for just bringing new life and abundance and just blessings into our world, Father God. Our world is constantly turning and just moving in upright motion. Just everything is just going up for us. We are here to celebrate new life, new growth, joy, and prosperity. And we just thank you for everything that you have given us in advance. Advance, Father God, please give us guidance for the sign of Aquarius for October 2020. Show me the money, energy, and thank you again for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. Amen. Amen. All right. So we're going to get into this, Miss Aquarius, leaving them glorious. Yes, ma'am. So if there's anyone that, um, you know, I'm going to place all the cards down. If there's anyone that wants to skip past. Oh, okay. Okay, I ain't even gonna argue with you. Go ahead, go ahead. If there's anyone that wants to skip past this part and go directly to the reading, you can do so. Go ahead and um, bless me with that time stamp down in the comment section. Thank you in advance. All right. Ooh. <laughs> Y'all just said we y'all ain't putting up with no attitudes today. Y'all are not putting up with no attitudes today. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why spirit just wanted me to say that, but y'all not putting up with no attitudes today. And I ain't mad at you about it. I ain't mad. Don't nobody want to deal with nobody attitude. Shoot. No, nobody want to deal with no attitude. And I feel like spirit has a different message for you guys because my other decks. I switched the decks around. I put this deck, which was normally the second one to come out up here, and the one that was normally the fourth one to come out over here. So God told me to switch those decks up. Did I even shuffle? Oh, listen. Do you mind my business? It's on the table. If it's on the table, it needs to be on the table. Y'all forgive me if y'all hear my kids in the background. Y'all know we homeschool. Just seen that star card. Hold on for a second. You guys, I am recording. I'm really 
interested to know why they wanted me to move those cards around. Like this deck down here has something to say. Alright, last deck. I just gotta say this because I'm looking at the cards face down um I really feel like that you guys have like by the end of this year you guys are going to complete a cycle um I want to say like there was um two situations of possibly uh loss and one situation of a major gain that's going to happen this year. It's something about cycles needed to be completed and then replenished. You understand what I'm saying? So I feel like there was an emptying of two different elements which allowed things were going down, downstream and then it went back up. But it filled all the way back up. Um... And I want to say because you want to allow certain access. Um, what was behind door number one, door number two, it, that wasn't for you. It was door number three. It just was a further distance. It was a further walk. Um, there may have been a battle with the shadow um, because the darker cards went to the bottom. The lighter cards went to the top. And as you're seeing, like, these are keyholes, so it's, like, access to something, um, which, it, they're saying, that like, it was something that was lowering your vibration, it's, like, depleting the apps the access of that vibration is like okay let me finish let me get into this okay so it says I let go of what I can't change you see what I'm saying I let go of what I cannot change so again there was three different stages or three different cycles that happened within this year it might have been two gut punching blows Two gut punch and blows that you felt like, oh my gosh, like I feel like it could have depleted me, it could have defeated me. But at the same time, it was all for your elevations. People don't understand. Uh, you have to purge in order for you to gain. And certain things, certain places, and certain people, we don't want to purge and let go, but it, it, we needed to. You know what I'm saying? We might not understand might not have understood why we needed to purge but as above so below what you uh, don't understand now you will understand later you know in the grand scheme of things you just got to kind of let things unfold let's see what's going down here again the hierophant so it's like you let go of a commitment um something that wasn't benefiting you like you didn't like the standard that was set here. You didn't like that people weren't willing to abide by the rules. Like they wanted you to abide by the rules, but they weren't willing to commit to it. And that wasn't fair to you. Like I didn't commit myself. I didn't um, stand and honor myself in front of God or pledge to this uh, agreement or this lifestyle in order for someone to take the rules that they weren't going to follow and shove it in my face while I have to adhere by it. I don't think so. I let go of what I can't change. I can't change this person. Only thing I can change about what I confine myself to. And I'm not going to confine myself to something that isn't committed to me and something that doesn't. It's about respect and honor. You don't respect me. You don't honor me. You're not willing to follow the rules. You 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 want me to give charity, but you don't want you want me to give charity, but you don't want to be charitable to me. And that that's not. And even like I want to say like 
the rules in this marriage are not traditional it's not traditional this might be a group of people I, I want to say that this is like a group of people that they live like an alternative lifestyle and you like I don't want to do this shit no more like um, I felt like in the beginning that I'm getting like some time mm, I mean a sweet swingers like um an online like Facebook sex group or you know what I'm saying like they're saying a cult oh god who the fuck is in there no but young I swear on my life I realize there are a lot of fucking cults and shit on YouTube these little groups and stuff like YouTube is crazy y'all and people don't realize that they in some type of sadistic ass cult where it's like some type of leader and everyone you know like this person has some type of rule or jurisdiction over people and people listen to what this idiot says and it's like I don't know it's like people kind of praise this leader like there are because it's an alternative lifestyle so it's like this leader does it like runs this group of this lifestyle and it's like I don't want to commit to this anymore I can't change the way that they do things in this group only thing I could change is me not being involved with it like shit you know what I'm saying so it's just like you had to change your standard of living because you said I don't like the way that they engage in this group it's a little aggressive um aggressive Hmm. The sewer mermaid, bitch. I told boy. Oh my god. Your sensuality is beautiful. So I want to say, like, you may be hanging around a lot of like low vibing ass people. Like I said, whatever this standard of living however they operate whatever the rules of this tribe of this group is it's like the lowest of the low like this might be brothers sleeping with each other's girlfriends or wives and like um like your cousin be fucking your ex and like it's okay with y'all because y'all share why i don't fucking know it's like Dishes all twisted up. It's like low. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like this is a group of low lives, or they don't have a standard. Um, I don't know why I'm getting like this is a family. Cause you heard every example I gave was like a family of some sort. It's like this is how they operate within this group. Like I would never sleep with my sister's boyfriend, or I would never allow my cousin to watch me have sex with my wife or it's something wild like that y'all why the fuck and shit like this always come out in the Aquarius yeah, what the fuck do Aquarius be into y'all I swear to god I had to take a sip of my damn coffee cause y'all just blew me on that it's like cup colds in there or something like like a hookup group like on Facebook or like a private group <sighs> y'all I ain't about to do that Honey, about to do this. Your sensuality is beautiful. I feel like you're like the rose that grew out of concrete within this group. I don't feel like you belong in this group at all. Um, you might be the rare beauty. Like, I don't know. Now they being shady. Okay, so they're like, okay, you know, like how they be having those like Facebook sex groups and like them swinger groups and shit. But it's like when you get in the group and you really get involved in it and you really see who be in it like everybody could be ugly like all of the bitches in this shit might be ugly or something and you may be the most beautiful one out of the group you know what i'm saying it's like so everyone is flocking to you you know what i'm saying in this group of, of, of is, i don't want to say nasty people because what may be nasty to me may not be nasty to you but i'm just saying like in this group of low vibing people, because this is like share, swap, swap, squat. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck it is, but share, swap, and squat. Okay? <laughs> we share, we swap, and then we squat. Okay? We just, <laughs> okay? I don't know. Mm, mm. I don't like her energy, y'all. Y'all like her energy? 
okay oh god okay so now they're saying there's like a sewer maiden that doesn't like you I feel like she feels like she's the most beautiful of them all. Mirror, mirror, tell me who's the most beautiful of them all. Bitch, you damn sure wasn't you. So, I feel like maybe you, and then I see the number 25, you may be young. Like, this may be a group of, like, older people, like, in their mid-30s, close to 40s. Like, you're a young, cute little vixen coming into this group or something, or you just look young, or you just have a, you're a more vibrant aspect to the quality of the energy that you bring into this weird ass little fucking funky ass group I feel like the maid like the hierarchy uh whoever's at the top of the hierarchy of this group the female I feel like there could be some jealousy here um there could very much so be some jealousy they can say like you need to put more clothes on or you I feel like your profile picture, you have no problem with showing your skin. Whereas though the other women in this group, they may be more reserved as far as their profile. But they're just, it's like they don't, they may be older so they don't show that they're in this freaky risque group. But I feel like you're younger, like you don't give a fuck. Like you like to, you're young, you want, you're hot, you're, you know what I'm saying? I feel like there's someone in this group that doesn't like your beauty. Because it takes the attention off of them. Why am I always getting crazy shit with y'all? Lord Jesus. What is this? The Page of Cups in the reverse and then the Eight of Diamonds. So, okay. The Eight of Diamonds warns us to look at where we're going. And pay attention to what you're doing. And pay attention to where you're going. Do you understand what I'm saying? This says... Fluttering about in all directions. And very like birds they look. Ooh. Fluttering about in all directions. And very like birds they look. Are these salt shakers? What the fuck is this? What is this? What is this little thing? But it looked like it got liquor or something. Y'all, what is this? Fluttering it like little birds. Pages of cups. So, again, like, this is the page of cups in the reverse can mean, like, ooh, ooh. So, I feel like you might be rejected from this group because... Remember, I'm telling you the Eight of Diamonds is like caution, like watch what you're doing, like bad luck could be coming, like if you're not carefully watching your spending, how much money you're spending, how much time you're spending with a group, they could look at you like you're just young, you're just, you know what I'm saying, you're very sexy, you got the fire in you, you're intense, you're young, you're, you know what I'm saying, like with um and again i'm getting like this is some online group i want to say they're going to block you because like they're going to block you from communicating with this group because even though this is the eight of diamonds i'm getting the eight of wands you know what i'm saying like block communication like there was too much attention on you there was too much attraction coming your way because you're so young with this page of cups and then also they could have blocked you because you are young you're sexy you're vibracious you're curvy um but you weren't trying to talk to nobody it's like you could have been in this group and things like that and it's like look but don't touch like y'all can look at me but don't touch me and like I don't really want to talk to you like that and they're like well bitch if you don't want to participate in this group like having sex and things like that then um this is a sex group we don't want you in our group then you know what I'm saying you you may be too young to be in our group if you're not going to be active do you understand what I'm saying so it's like remember fluttering around fluttering about in all directions and very like birds they look so like they it's like 
okay because I'm getting fine wine like you may be fluttering about in this group going to pages leaving comments and things like that looking like a glass of fine wine like people want to touch you people want to taste you but they can't like with this page of cups in the reverse like you might not be mature enough to be receptive to this type of group you know what I'm saying like they may be alternative like you might have just came down into the sewer just to take a peek just to take a look people seeing this beautiful sewer made um I want to say you realize that this lifestyle is not for you it might have been hard for you to engage in the group like they feel like you're fluttering around like a bird, not really having any direction. It's like, so do you want to be in this group or not? You know, so, oh, ooh, I'm just peep something. You see how, like, that's the king, that's the queen. Here you are, like, you are red wine. You're Marlowe. You understand? No, they're Marlo. You're you you you're a nice ass Pinot. You know what I'm saying? Like you're a Pinot. So it's like I'm looking for something with more of a Pinot taste. Bitch, we don't give Pinot. We're Marlo. You know what I'm saying? So you need to go. You're flutting around like a bird, like you're one of us. You're not. You know what I'm saying? You need to get the fuck. Like you 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 not old enough to hang with this group or you need to watch what you're doing or who you're communicating with because they're Marlo, you're Pinot. So you might not be a part of I let go of what I can't change. It's like I I don't know why I'm I'm getting here like someone trying to hang out with a different why am I getting gang banging now? Like it's like that's not part of your gang. You're not part of that gang. So it's like you really can't hang around there like that. You know what I'm saying? Because someone's going to see you and ask questions. So like watch where you're going with those colors on because or it's like you know like I don't know it's like someone may be very immature and naive and you may think that these people fuck with you and they don't fuck with you because you don't you don't do the things that they do or you're not willing to do the things that they're doing or you're you're younger than them and uh, anyway let me just keep moving the queen of pentacles in the reverse so again like this queen of pentacles can not want you in her court she may not look at you as if you're family she may not want to take care of you or show you how things work in this group do you understand what i'm saying like this is now they're saying mother may i no she's like no you know mother may i know amara the menu i don't know how to tell to say that However the fuck you pronounce all of that shit. Listen, I don't speak fucking Hawaiian. Bitch, it says Aloha Healy. I've never even seen this car before. Amara. The mini you? I don't know. Let's see what she got to say. Oh, did I flip right to her too? Yes, I did. It says, Amara has come, and so it is time to begin to eat more fresh fruits, drink um, healthy juices, smoothies, take a dance lesson, have a tropical bath with flower petals, and bring the energy of the waterfall into your life. Kahuna message and body work is wonderful when Amara makes her gentle, full, powerful presence felt. She also responds to dancing joyful exercises singing music fresh fruits and fruit uh, fruits more raw foods and you will definitely benefit from more sunshine and outdoor time there may be a relaxation and healing traditions within your ancestry to investigate take a vacation and a journeyful soulful place Holistic treatments will have appeal as will natural alternative. By taking this approach and devoting, devoting yourself to it, you can expect renewed help. A positive new attitude too. Above all, it's time to connect with the power of sunshine in gentle, soulful ways. Surfing the ocean waves 
and swimming will be most beneficial at this time. All right, so what I'm getting with that is, um, I want to say you're in a place that you don't belong. Like, who, whatever it is, I, I want to say you're too sunshine and happy days for this group or something like that. You're very young, you're vivacious, you're beautiful. Like extremely beautiful and whoever this is is intimidated by it I feel like they're older than you like they might have to do more than you to get the attention that you get these are sewer maids like you don't belong in the sewer you belong in the sunshine my dear do you understand what I'm saying it's like I feel like you're too young to be involved with this type of foolishness. Like, this is for a group of people who had failed marriages and just trying to experience fun at this point. Like, with this Queen of Pentacles, like, this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, whoever this leader is of this group, again, like, this is someone that had a failed marriage. This is someone who had a failed marriage in feels like unfortunately the only fun and excitement that they'll get is hanging with the lowest of the low like they may be the queen of the lowest of the low you know what i'm saying like they feel like the only excitement that they'll get at this point is to have this swinging low vibrational lifestyle and like you have so much more of your life to live like your life hasn't failed you yet like this is for people that don't have anything more to give sewer maids you know what i'm saying so this woman can't teach you anything of value this woman really doesn't like you if anything she would give you bad advice and bad counsel because that's how she can control you you know what i'm saying like be careful who you associate yourself with and you're hanging around because people will legitimately act like they're your friend and want to accept you into a group just to hate you and try to make you feel less than because of your differences when your differences make you greater than them you're a pillar of light and sunshine like even your this is the queen of pentacles she should be more health minded and conscious she should be more out in the sunshine she shouldn't be in the sewer like the queen of pentacles is about nature it's about harmony it's about peace and abundance like the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse is someone that chases money, that doesn't take care of their kids, that, you know, like everything that they do is for money. Like she might not even talk to you if you're not paying her. You know what I'm saying? Or if she felt like she can't benefit something out of you in some way. Like this is a woman that is a schemer or a con artist. Like she don't take care of her kids. Her house isn't clean. Like she's never home. Like always in the street. You know what I'm saying? Like this is not... That's not someone that you want to have an influence over your life at such a young age. Do you understand? Because I really do feel like you're young. You don't want to surround yourself around this group of nasty, failed people. Like, this is when you don't have anything else to do with your life and you're old as fuck and a lot of shit has passed you by and you made a whole bunch of fucked up decisions and have lack of value within yourself and ain't shit growing around you so you ain't got shit to do but play in the dirt with fucking swine baby three of wands girl move on baby girl and my beast of my own voice there is so much better out there for you baby the grass is greener on the other side like it said you are like aloha spirit listen aloha spirit girl if you don't go by the beach and go be blessed and abundant with yourself okay i am reloaded if this isn't really showing you how positive and how affluent your energy is look at this look at these people uh-uh. No. No. You got to move on and you can't change these people. Only thing you can do is change yourself. These people really don't love you. Like, I really do feel like there is a group of people that invited you into a group because of your attractiveness. They felt like if they invited you you into their sex group that it would attract more attractive people because there's a whole bunch of ugly dudes or a whole bunch of ugly women in this group there isn't you know what i'm saying or there might just be 
this one attractive woman and like all of the dudes in the group be running after this woman but she don't even really want them because she's not really that attracted to them but she's entertaining them but once you came around and all of them niggas started running to you oh she was like hold on but those are my niggas you see what i'm saying <laughs> i had control over these niggas so it's just like cut your losses because these motherfuckers may be talking about you like Get this bird ass bitch, this bird ass hoe. Like, like, like these are two little bird ass bitches, bird ass hoe trying to run around and be like us. This bitch, she be drinking Pinot Grigio. Who drinks Pinot Grigio? Me, bitch. The fuck? My sexy ass, who your ass is hating on, bitch? Stop playing with me, okay? Look, the five of pentacles in. Come on, in the five. Come on, father. Listen. Listen to me. You said, honey. Hold on, can I come through like Selena Johnson, bitch? I am pressed. I am pulled up. I look better than you, bitch. I am pulled up more than you. I do not have no state of lack. I do not put myself... Listen, these are motherfuckers that harm their self. You don't... Like, like these are people that don't think very much of their self, and that's why they wallow around in the dirt. Bitch, these are old-ass hoes and huzzies and just, like... Ain't nothing ass niggas that just want to slut around and just want to treat bitches like cum pails and shit. And these women don't even realize it. Like, these women are in such state of lack. Like, this group of women, some man done hurt them so bad that they felt like the only thing that they can do and the only way that they could find a sense of value within their self is to go into a little slut group, a little sex group, and slut their self out around a whole bunch of niggas that don't give a fuck about them and treat them like cum pails. You are not like that. You got the five of pentacles in reverse. Baby, I ain't shut out for nothing. I'm blessed and highly favored. That's why I told you when, when you come around, baby, it is a aloha season. Hello, bitch, the sun shining came out, bitch. Okay? Have you ever just stepped outside around a group of peasant ass motherfuckers and the sun just started beaming like you just came out and just shined your glory all upon they fucking low vibrational bitch ass? Bitch, you are the sun, honey. You are the one, honey. Like the five of pentacles, listen. Whatever you went through, the worst is over. The worst is over. I'm not going to sit there and cry and put myself in a place of lack self-loathing and pity because something didn't work out for me fuck that i employ myself i will pick myself up i will find myself help i i am self-help the fuck you mean i'm not listen the five of pentacles i mean the five of cups in reverse i have so much forward to look forward to in my life why would i sit there and stay in a place of lack and worry about what someone didn't do what it should have could have who gives a shit I have so much more of life left to live. I wish the fuck I would. I wish I would. Life moves on. Boat, plane, train, surfboard. It don't matter how I get there. I'm going to get to going. I am not going to stagnate myself worrying about what someone didn't do or what someone did not receive from me or what someone wanted to give. Like, I, I'm good. Like, I'm like... You, you would not like these people. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I think it might have sound fun to get into like a swinger sex group or something. Um, I even feel like with this page of cups in the reverse, it was like you were down there playing with fire or something like that. Cause you didn't think you were going to get burned, which didn't because it's like, I might be young, but I know not to play with fire to the point where I'm going to let it burn me, duh. Like, y'all are stupid. You know what I'm saying? It's like, remember, I'm trying to tell you the eight of, of let me show y'all what the fuck the eight of diamonds mean. Because I, I'm just, I'm not even, I'm just not. The eight of diamonds, caution. Careful planning, balancing the book, financial restriction, the need to curtail spending, ups and downs of money management, cycling money, tax planning, 
number counting, a person with glasses, watchfulness, the eyes. Can y'all see that? Watch what you're doing, where you're spending time, how you, you know what I'm saying? Because what you put out comes back. So if you put yourself in a situation of lack, or people trying to compare themselves to you because of their lack and their, <laughs> ooh, honey, when you surround yourself around people like that, that energy going to boom or ring right back to you. You have to recognize within yourself, I am too beautiful for this. This is a group for has-beens and fucking old losers. I have so much of my life to give. They talking about me fluttering around, looking like a bird. Why? Because you want to be Merlot and I'm Pino. Merlot give me headaches. Merlot. Okay, that's why I didn't even want to say it right. Merlot. Bitch, that's how my head be all. Because is it just me or does red wine give you headaches? I'm a Pinot, bitch. Okay, give me Pinot any day. Give me some Chardonnay. Give me some Pinot. Give me some Riesling. Don't give me no red, bitch. Red make my head spin. I can't do you. Mm -mm. If you know it's something that's going to present a headache for you, don't surround yourself. I don't even go in the aisles where I see red wine at. Because I know it's going to give me a headache. Like, these people are going to give you a headache. These people are mad because even though y'all might have been in a situation, because when you were their age and when you were their age and conflict and change, because you know, that's what five means, conflict, change, adaptability, being quick-witted represents freedom. It represents travel. They stayed. They waited. They cried. They begged. They sent solo sewer maids. Sewer maids. They probably still down there. Wishing that someone would call them. Look, feeling shut out from whoever it is that they really love. Wishing that someone would call them. Waiting. You know, after they're not running around being sluts in this little stupid ass group being treated like cum receptacles. They're sitting at home thinking about the old shit when somebody used to love them and feel. People that vibrate. And self-worth, the sunshine, the rainbow comes out. They're not scared to move on. They're not scared to move on. Mm. Let's see what we got here. We got the two of clubs and then we got the six of swords. See, I told you, y'all getting the fuck away from these people. Ooh. And I'm trying to tell you, listen, the two of clubs in the reverse. So remember, the two of clubs is like negotiation to me. The two of clubs is like, clubs represents a work environment, a working environment. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's like, you might have been having back and forth banter, may have been negotiating, might have even stuck around trying to see if things were going to work out between you and this group. But it says the race is over, but who won? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, the race is over, but who won? It's like, I don't even realize who is the victor is he it, it, you know what i'm saying so y'all could have had an event y'all could have had like they're saying a service a service is this like some type of church call i'm trying to tell y'all this okay mm -mm. sips tea again sips tea again y'all bitch this ain't tea this coffee so you guys could have had an event. I don't know why I'm feeling like in this event in some sort of way. Because look at this. An event. There was a competition. You got the Six of Swords. I want to see you outbeat and you outsmarted the competitor. Because you know the Six of Swords is someone getting away. 
And the way you got away is because the light led you. I swear to God. Because remember they said, oh, Aloha healing. Like you had Aloha healing. Like you did not allow yourself to sink. So these people are like, where the fuck you think you're going? Like you spoke. And again, I'm trying to tell you, this is someone. You outsmarted the competitor. You decided that this doesn't work for me. Because remember, this two of pinnacles, this two of pinnacles, this two of clubs came out in the reverse. Like this isn't the a club, a club, two of clubs. This is not the type of club or organization that you want to be involved with. Because after all of that hard work or whatever the hell you did, you don't even realize it, who won. Like who is the winner? Like did I gain anything from this situation? Because I want to say that these people are looking for you. Because the Six of Swords going into the Seven of Swords, so you might have decided that I'm not going to win anything out of being it. Because I'm trying to tell you, I feel like these people try to attract you to this group so that you can attract other men or other uh, more attractive women. Those person, they only wanted you in there. They don't like you. They envy you. They're jealous of you. They know that they're dead. They attracted you. They wanted you in the group so that they try to make you feel fucked up for being Pino, but they want men or they want female Pino. You understand what I'm saying? Like, they are Merlot, but they know that they serve people headaches. They know that. You see what I'm saying? Like, I've never heard no one complain about a white wine before. I've, I've heard thousands of people tell me that red wine gives them headaches. They tell you that there's health benefits to red wine, not if it's going to give me a split and fucking headache. Okay, so hold on. <laughs> What's that song um when um the rapper the baby he was like um he said he, he said that the girl don't drink liquor just white wine. I pull up with some dude with Pinot Grigio and some 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 with my freaky hoe. <laughs> <laughs> she don't drink no liquor just white wine. Listen, I'm trying to tell you cause it's like. It's out with my freaky y'all. I'm trying to tell you, it's like, whatever this little kink group, whatever it is, it's like, you still kink, but I feel like they're just, like, this group is trash. They only wanted you in the group to entice Pinot Grigio. You understand? Because everyone that was already in the group that was Merlot, they were not attracted to. Do you understand? It was like they produce headaches. They want to be around a quality of wine, of a fine wine that is not going to have the end result be a fucking headache. They don't like you. The only reason why they were... Wanting you to be in this group is because they want to attract people like you and then they want to throw you away. And it's like, I really do feel like because it's like you're leaving, you realize that these people are really not people to be fucked with. And now they're looking for you like, oh, hold on, where you come? Where, where you go? Come back, come back. It's like they're trying to find the reason, the secret. Like they're trying to... They're trying to manipulate because the six of wands going, I mean the six of swords going to the seven of swords. The seven of swords is like deceit, lies, treachery, treason, um, a spy. Like I'm trying to tell you, it's, they're looking for you. Like they're almost want to capture you. Like I want to say this, like they. Now they're saying death before dishonor. So it's like they want you to be a part of this group for life. You can't leave because if you leave, it's going to make them look bad. Um, if, if, if you can see, you see how this person might have, this person got away with half of a sword. You see what I'm saying? So you outsmarted these people. You outsmarted these people. You could have fought. Almost to the death to get away from these people. And I want to say that you're hiding right now. Because you know that these people are looking for you. So you might not be communicating. You kind of 
asked communication. Um, you could have moved on. You could have moved away to a safe distance. These people are looking for you. I let go of what I can't change. I can't change these individuals. I just don't want to be a part of this group anymore. It's a group of fucking low lives. Like, I want to go to, like, you could have definitely moved somewhere. What is this? The angel of alchemy, a miracle. So I'm trying to tell you, like, God knows. God knows. Hold on. The fourth one. Come on now. You don't got to wait and you celebrating. I feel like these people, like, lowered you to your darkness. It's like, I can't even believe I even, like, engaged with a group like this. Um, it's like, these people showed you your shadow side and it's like you escaped it. I don't feel like it's anything wrong with someone being in a sexual kink group, but there, you can find one that's a healthy, mature group because... This group, I'm trying to tell you, it's a group of low lives. It's not a group of sex exploration and positivity and safety. Like, I don't even think that they were being safe, like, in the things that they were doing. And, like, how could you have a group of sex pos uh, positivity and stuff like that if people are using each other, if people are jealous of each other, and, like, you got one person who thinks that they're the leader and, like everyone like it's just it was just like mm -mm. Mm -mm. it was like this group just fed your shadow you know what I'm saying but after the events are done you know what I'm saying I'm, I'm just I'm assuming these are like what events you could dot 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 read into that however you want to like after these events were done and you had to deal with these people on an individual level um I don't think you really liked the people that you were surrounded by. Like, once the fun was all said and done, and I really want to say, you knew that these, these people, this group of people was just using you for your looks. They were only using you to attract a certain group of people to them. And it's like, I don't want... I don't want new people getting into this group because of me, because they're going to think I'm like you. You know what I'm saying? And then if these people get hurt or they get exposed or something ends up, because it's like messiness. I don't want that to have to anything to do with me. I don't want that to have any reflection on me. It was a miracle that you got away from the circus. You are looking for like commitment like a group that you could really commit to that's fun that has pride and dignity in what they do like we all grown like everyone has sex but it's not just about that it's just like i'm not willing to, to scrub the bottom of the surface just to have something to do you know like i'm talented i'm gifted i'm beautiful i need to surround myself with where i'm more talented and gifted um, soul surviving people it's like the battle of your inner soul and fighting your inner demons is the worst thing that um, someone could go through transi transition wise because the hardest thing to do is to look at the mirror at yourself and then say I'm not perfect and there's something about me that I don't like and I need to fucking fix that shit You faced your darkness in this. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know why I like this type of thing or why I'm into this. Um, it's not a problem with me being into this. If you find a healthy community of people that, that's just like if you're a foot fetishist. You could be a foot fetish type of person, but you don't need to be a foot fetish type of person that be wanting to eat raw meat off of toes and do sick shit. You see what I'm saying? Like these. Uh, I don't know. I don't even know why. I, Cause like I'm not. I'm not even going to lie. Like I've seen. I've seen weird shit before. I've seen them little kink videos of people 
Ah, oh. Like, I'm serious. Like, certain people really just like um, watching people, like, put their feet in, like, it could be, like, slime or food or, you know what I'm saying? Like, now there might be some foot fetishes that, like, yeah, I like feet, but I don't want to see no slime in between nobody toes and shit. Like, there's levels and extremes to stuff. Do y'all understand? Okay, anyway, let me just go. It's like, this is a healthy extreme, okay? Like, I like this group. We celebrate healthily. Like, we're not walking away from, like, this is an event where I want to say, like, whatever was going on in this event might have disturbed you. And you're like, oh, hell no, I don't, I get down, I don't get up down like that. And like, where are you going? I thought you was cool. I thought you liked this shit. Nah, motherfucker, I don't like that shit. You know what I'm saying? And again, the Seven of Swords, like, you about to go. I feel like you're going to go through some level of harassment. For not being associated with this group. Because this Six of Swords is going into the Seven of Swords. And. Excuse me. That's a spy card for me. That's a spy card for me. Um, I think you may need to lay low. You know, I, I, now I, I'm, I'm going to keep it real. I feel like you need to lay low around these groups. Like, just don't, like, wherever these people uh, that associate in this group go, just don't even fuck around over there. Like, stay in a place where you're happy and you don't mind committing yourself to that energy. Do you understand? You don't mind demonstrating your talents because I'm trying to tell you, like, whatever talent or skill it was that you had, those people were... Mm -mm. Sewer maids. Like you could have knew how to tie a cherry with your tongue and shit. You know what I'm saying? And they could have been advertising like, oh, come on over here. We got Hawaiian bitches that know how to tie ch uh, ch cherry stems with their tongues and shit like that. You know? Like this bitch was trying to pimp you. You know what I'm saying? Like I swear to God, y'all. Let me just keep it moving, y'all. You got the Knight of Cups. You got the King of Pentacles. Ooh. And then you got the page of sports. Come on now. Oh, hello. So I feel like you guys got two different men on the table here. You got two different men on the table. Like I'm saying, this could have been a dating group or some shit like that. This most definitely could have been a dating group. Again, I still feel like you're young with this page of sports. Um, I feel like take your time number one i feel like some of you guys are still in school a little bit because with this page of cups right here in the reverse i feel like you're you should be you should not be playing with your emotions like that but again you're still too young to understand something you see what i'm saying so i feel like with this page of swords it's like you're crossing a boundary. You're going from one extreme to another because in this in this extreme, I feel like you were in over your head. You were playing with fire. You were around people that really didn't love you, that really didn't have your best interests at hand. I feel like right now you're studying a little bit more about what you're doing. Like whatever group or whatever industry, whatever the fuck this is, you're definitely educating yourself about it before you get yourself into it because it's like... I don't want to get in over my head and walk across this bridge and then get in the territory where I'm ill prepared and I feel like I'm around all these sewer maidens, sewer maidens again. And it's a miracle that I, you know, that I escaped, that I escaped and I was able to quit this job. You know what I'm saying? And find another job. Like, yeah, like y'all could have quit a job. Like y'all just like, man. I don't fit in with these mother and these, these bitches talking about me like I'm about to beat the shit like I'm sorry like I'm so sorry about it I'm so sorry about it because I'm not going to surround myself in a situation where people talking shit about me and cause I'm feeling like the way that you had to get away from this situation like you had to move with silence and violence 
because these people were not going to let you get away. And if they would have caught you and would have caught wind of what you were trying to do, it wouldn't have been good. It wouldn't have been good. Because they don't know when they're going to get another Amara. There's no beauty in this. There's no youth in this group. There's no beauty. There's no youth. There's no sense of value in this group. Just the lowest of the low. It just so happened to have someone high vibrational stop by. I feel like what really caused the problem is maybe the two most attractive people in this group was paying all of this attention to this young one. And I want to say that this girl was focused on her studies. Like, it was a, you see the two birds communicating with her? So it's like you could have just stepped into this group and just like off the rip, like the most attractive. Look, the older long wolf. And I want to say like the older long, the long wolf. She felt like she should be the one talking to him. Because he's just like the, the, the top guy in this group. He don't talk to nobody. He just entertains and he's like the social S expert. The king of clubs. You understand what I'm saying? And then he's like the young debonair ladies man that everyone. So it's like if 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 the, the ones in the group that want youth, they go after him. The ones in the group that wants uh, maturity and knowledge, they flock after him. But both of these people were communicating to you and might have been ignoring everyone else. They may have had a wonderful idea with seeing your youth, seeing how focused you were and seeing you going from one boundary to another. You were not like the other sewer mates. They could tell that these women lack self-work, lack um, um, just like intentional values. Like, like they, I don't even think they even understood their intentions for what they were trying to get out of this group. They were just looking for someone to show them attention. To let them in from them feeling shut out from the world. And everything have done them bad. And all these past lovers that left them. Like you were going somewhere. It wasn't all about the kink or whatever this group was about. It was about your studies. You were more than just sex or more than just whatever. And that's why those two were talking to you. And that's why these bitches were talking about you. Because again, fluttering about in all directions. Look, you wasn't even paying attention to you. I don't even think you were really even paying attention to these people. You were fluttering about. And those two men were fluttering after you, trying to get you to pay attention to their communication. Like, he's offering you love, he's offering you stability, right? Fluttering about in all directions, and very like birds they look. So look, these, look, these, look, these women are sitting up there talking about the two main individuals in this group that everyone look look at them fluttering behind her like some bird ass hoes and shit like that what are they even talking to her what do they even see in her he's over here trying to offer her information and shit like that telling her about school and shit he's over here buying her lunch trying to give her all this love and shit these hoes jealous y'all these hoes jealous jealous and then once you stop hanging around them, look, once you realized what was going on and you stop hanging around them, where did the two men go? Right behind you. These two men don't even want to be associated with this group. So people are leaving the group now. Because guess what? I let go of what I can't change. I can't change how these bitches operate. I just know that this ain't how I like to operate. The fuck? What I'm a... Why, why I'm... I don't beg or borrow, fake or plead. Baby, I'm not tripping off of nothing. 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 I'm always 10 steps ahead of you. 
and never tripping on what's le left balance in the past, I'm crossing barriers, walking into new threshold. If it ain't meant for me, it ain't for me. And it was a miracle. Like you are moving into success and commitment. Now, I don't know which one of these two you're going to choose. It looks like you got one younger and one older. But whoever these people was in this group, they are following after you, Aquarius. You got an earth sign and you got a water sign. A Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That you have choices. That's why I'm trying to tell you when you... You vibrate on a high level and you walk away from filth. What's meant for you will follow after you. You don't have to chase, borrow, beg, plead. Slut yourself out, dishonor yourself, looking for attention. This person realized I quickly do not fit in here. These motherfuckers talking about me. They just want me around for what they can benefit off of my presence. I got to go. And they said I'm going too. And I'm trying to tell y'all, be careful because now you got a new group of enemies. I'm serious. You have a new group of enemies, so... Because they feel like nothing. Like, they felt like something before you came around. Look, flowers and, like, long talks and, like, shit about, like, these dudes was not, they were just trying to fuck on them. They were not giving no flowers or none of that shit. They were treating them like whores. Because it was a whore group. Y'all are. If this video resonates, y'all hit the fucking like button. Adios mio. I got a ball. Y'all. Y'all want to send me some birthday will wishes again. My birthday is on October the 25th, which is a Sunday. Y'all can always check out my about tab on my YouTube page. Um, you can send me a birthday will wish in my inbox on Instagram. Or you can email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. I love you guys. Oh, and of course, donations are. <laughs> I'm sorry, this video fucked me up. All right, bye.